Today we're going to be talking about how to create a calendar in Microsoft Word. We'll be using Word 2007, although I will point out how to do the same thing in earlier versions of Word, such as 2003. Now there are two ways to create a, a calendar in Microsoft Word. The first is to choose either the Office button and New in 2007, or File New in 2003 and, and below, and look at the available templates. Microsoft installs a bunch of templates and gives you the ability to go up online and get a couple of templates that way. One of the templates that, uh, one of the categories are the, two th are the, ten the calendars. And when I click on the 2009 calendars, by way of example, I can do photo calendars, I can do all sorts of nicely formatted, everything from the simple to the pretty uh, exotically formatted. I'll simply click on one, click on the download button, Microsoft Office will download it right onto my, my blank page, depending of course how fast your connection is, this will take longer or shorter. And when it's done, voila, you have a calendar. Because this calendar relies on a photograph, you could obviously change the photograph yourself take out the photograph, in this case of the mountain, and put in photographs of Aunt Edna or your trip to Cancun. This kind of calendar is nice if you want to print it out, maybe hang it on a wall, just by way of using it as a calendar. However, most people like to use calendars to store information, put your dates on, doctor's visits, things like that. So to do that, you could either download a very simple calendar, or without even downloading, you could just do the same thing in Microsoft um, Office directly. Now what I am going to do is create a blank page and make it landscape. Typically you want something in landscape when you want a lot of space. I'm going to then insert a table and the size table I want is going to have seven columns, one for each day, and I'll have six rows or and I may need some extras, I may not. Once Word creates the basic calendar, I take the first row and using the Layout tab, Merge Cells, merge the top row so that I could type in the month and the year. Then I can simply boldface it, make it bigger, smaller, center it, do any kind of formatting obviously that I feel what I need to do. I can then type in Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Then I happen to know that the first day of the month of January 2009 was on a Thursday. And then I simply type in the days of the week using the tab key to move to the next cell. 